Good morning, you guys. It is almost 11.51 a.m. And it's still day 117, June 1st, 2023. This is video two. And I have not decided if this is going to be a double day or triple day, but it will say it in my description box and on my thumbnail. Okay, so I took a little bit longer because of the notes that I had to write down. This is why I write all of my notes before I come out here. Okay, so I refilled on my water bottle. I did not uh, eat anything yet. And I'm gonna tell you guys, hopefully I can make it through this whole video. Um, we can get these at least double days knocked out. Like I said, these weren't planned triple days anyway. Okay, so right now I'm at 1.6 and as you know, I have to incline and then we can go from there. So if you're just now starting to watch uh, double days or days where I won't have access to a treadmill or I won't be able to record, there'll be too much noise in the background. So. I try to make up for those days in advance. And um, this treadmill is new. Well, it's supposed to be new. We think it's used. But um, it came out the box not working. So after many conversations, messages over a course period of, I'm not up to 15 yet for my incline. Um, and a lot of debating, we ended up being able to keep it, but it still wasn't working. So um, my husband ended up fixing it because I'm not quite up to speed two yet. The treadmill does not have a warranty, um, even though it says that it does. So yes, um, I wish everything had got taken care of sooner because I found that Although I was inclined in our old treadmill, I was inclined as high as I thought. Yeah, great after 100 something days, right, to find that out. Um, I was at speed four. I did walk 40 minutes um, on all the videos prior to this and uh, the past three or four days. It's just the incline. You guys, like I said, there's no way that it was actually as high as I thought. Okay, so double days, I do a speed two. I know my challenge initially says speed four, but speed four on this thing is jogging. Okay, speed four on this thing is like speed six or seven. So um, just to give you guys a quick recap, if you just started watching. Okay, so the hard part um, about being up here is being inclined, walking, and talking. Okay, now that I'm at a true incline, I'm losing weight, so if you see me pulling up my uh, pants, I was gonna buy them like a size too small so that when I started losing weight, I could fit them, and I kind of didn't do that. So, yes, um, I'm hoping that these start to have less stretch. Honestly, I might have to wash them in hot water. Okay, so like I said, this is video two for day 126 which will be at the beginning of the video, uh, and that's June 10th. Okay, and we'll see about day 124. I don't think I have the energy for video three to do a triple day. We'll see. Because I've already walked for 40 minutes that you guys know. Okay, so when I go back inside, I can cross off day 126, at least. Um, still have one more day to make up for, so that's where the initial problem is kind of coming in at. But I was thinking, make up for the days first that I won't have access to this treadmill and then go from there. Um, okay, so I was talking to you guys about Mr. Deeds and um, that was at the end of the video. And I didn't really give you guys like a lot of detail, just like a baseline. So, in need of water already. I and mean, if you don't know, I don't eat or drink um, hardly anything like in the morning. I do salt for the iodine. I'm allergic to seafood highly, so I'm very low on iodine. And um, 
I do lemon juice to see if it will help for multiple reasons. Um, a slight fat burner, a slight detox, and I believe it helps like your thyroids and your metabolism and stuff like that because I have cysts in my thyroid and even though they're shrinking, there's this um, unidentified nodule that popped up okay, this year. So um, I think I was reading usually it's not cancerous, but they don't know what it is. But the doctor did say usually it's from um, drip. Like when you have not a nasal drip, but like a drip that goes down your throat. So um, from, let's say, a sinus infection or something like that. So yeah, dealing with that as if I needed that to pop up. Um, like I said, good news that the cysts were shrinking, even though they were increasing, and then that pops up. So yeah. But I'm here, and for the most part, I'm healthy. And if you just start watching, this is only, let's see, my sixth time using this treadmill. Okay, like I said, literally, it didn't work until like four days ago. Okay, so I had no idea <clears throat> that this thing was gonna, like I said, kick my tail like this, but it is. Um, I don't know, I don't wanna speed it up. Like I said, if I was walking once, I might have been able to start the 2.5 and three, I don't know, because I think I need to step faster and a little higher and when I don't, it sounds like a dog is barking. So we're like, uh, there might be something else wrong with that treadmill, but it's just when my feet are hitting down on the treadmill itself. So it's not happy with three at an incline of 15. So me and my, um, well, we think it's used, but me and my new treadmill are kind of at war, <laughs> kind of a little bit in disagreement, if nothing else. So yeah, um, it's just going to take some getting used to. And then I think I said that um, day, oh, what was it? 143 would actually mark 30 days at a true incline of 15. So even though I have to slow it down, um, the speed number is what it is so far as what it says, but I'm gonna tell you, I know I keep saying this, but a larger motor makes a smaller number faster, okay? I can honestly tell you, if I had another person to show you guys, and if I angle the camera to where you can see both of us, you would clearly see it too. I'm walking faster than they would at four on that treadmill. So yeah, um, this horsepower is supposed to be 3.75, and supposedly that was a 3.5, but I think the horsepower on that one is like a 2.75. I don't think it's 3.5. I fail to believe, could be wrong, that 0.25 horsepower will make this much of a difference. And like I said, ultimately, I think it's because this one truly inclines to 15. And that one, there was a treadmill similar to it that said that that's what the highest incline was. I, I don't think so. So, like I said, I know I'm complaining. I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm just not happy because I would have been able to handle this by now, talking and walking at this incline had I had this sooner. So, yeah. Yes. 117 days is a long time, and I still did the 40 minutes, I still did the speed four, but on a much slower treadmill, so a little frustrating. These will take me a couple more days to get that frustration out. I might come out here, I know I said I wouldn't, but just kind of jog that frustration out off camera. So yeah, um, me and Super Fit Hearing needs to come to an understanding. It's not just my overall health, if I drink enough water, am I eating healthy? Um, stamina, endurance, and all that, I need that to kick in more. So I would have to be on this more, is my thought. And add a couple of those things in, 
without overdoing it. Usually I can't eat a lot before 10. And on a treadmill, are you kidding me? Before, mm -mm. me and breakfast are not friends at all. If I need to catch my breath so much, you wouldn't even see me up here with a water bottle. If you want proof, check my other, let's see, I did this for four days now, my other um, 112 videos of my walk and talk. But it's truly necessary for this one. Okay, so we'll do a time check, and then we'll go into, it's kind of like a little intro, just real quick. Um, sometimes I just hop right into it, but I already have a video that I did. And so I feel this one's like more of a true review. So the other video is going to be a full review of the movie Click with Adam Sandler. And this is going to be more of a full review for Mr. Deeds. Because I didn't name characters, nothing. I gave you guys a general idea of the plot at the end of that video when I catch my breath. Okay, so we're at 10 minutes, 43 seconds, and 0.34 for distance, and 36.5 calories. All right. So, uh, Mr. Deeds, it aired in 2002, so it's four years older than the movie Click. That one aired in 2006. Um, this movie is rated PG-13. It's listed as a comedy romance. It's an hour 36 minutes long, and these are the uh, characters. Okay, so I told you guys that there was an uncle or somebody that he inherited money from, right? Okay, so the actor's name, I don't know if that's Harv or Harvey. There's no why. I'm gonna say Harv. Uh, Presnell, and like I said, he plays the uncle, which is Preston Blake. Um, let's see, as you know, Adam plays Longfellow Deeds, Winona Ryder plays Babe Bennett, Steve, oh, I'm so sorry, here goes your whole last name, like right out the window, because I can really say it, Steve Ooh, ooh, no. You're Sammy? That's a hard name. He plays Crazy Eyes. He's a really, really funny actor. Um, there's other character roles that he plays, and I don't remember them, so I'm actually going to not name it, because I didn't look him up. Okay, but I remember him in some other type of movies. But I do know that he usually plays like a, a comedic role as well. Okay, so the butler I told you guys about, that just pops up everywhere, like out of nowhere, it's so funny. If you've never seen Mr. Deeds, it is hilarious. Um, like I said, dude would scare me because he just popped up everywhere. Um, anywhere Adam looks, well, in the movie, uh, Deeds, well, Palm Deeds, right, looked, he was there. Just, just like, right there. It, it was, I was like, how? But... We have so much technology now, right? Okay, so his name is, oh my gosh, first name John, last name to Trudeau. I can't roll my R's, but you guys, his last name literally reminds me of like the word Mississippi. It's T-U-R-T-U-R-R-O, right? Um, I think if I had to write that as a last name, I might even have an extra R and there might be a third one. Um, but he plays Emilio Lopez, like I said, the butler. And also, let's see, we have, I don't know if that's an R, Peter. Oh my gosh, they're not his names, you guys. The last. <laughs> I'm gonna mess this up. Glacker? I think I'm missing a uh in there when I said it. That's as close as I can get. Okay, I'm not gonna try that again. He plays Chuck Cedar. And hmm. 
that could. No, no, it's gonna say it could be pronounced. No, that'd be cedar. No, there's no H. I was gonna say cheddar, but no, cedar. Uh, Eric, Avery, Avery, one of the two, possibly, <laughs> plays Cecil Anderson. Jared Harris plays Matt McGrath. Peter, I don't know if that's Dant. That could be Dante. Plays Murph. John McEnroe plays himself. Walter Williamson plays Kurt. Al Sharpton plays the rhyme guy. Um, very funny actress. Sorry if I messed up your first name. Conchata. Farrell plays Jan. She plays Berta in Two and a Half Men. Uh, J.B. Smooth plays Ruben. And the story goes as follows. And let me move this paper because the rest is written over here. Oops, that's stapled. Okay, let's look. Place that there. All right, Longfellow Deed is a small town guy living in Mandrake Falls, New Hampshire. He is an owner of a small pizzeria and a poet. Two corporate executives tell him that his uncle, Preston Blake, passed away and that he has inherited $40 billion and the largest media company, Blake Media, in the world. Which, like I said on video one, everyone wants a piece of. A local tabloid reporter, Babe, remember her last name in the movie is Bennett. Okay, so Babe wants the story. So she poses as a damsel in distress. And of course, Deeds, being a small town guy he is, he comes to her rescue. She pretends to be an innocent small town girl. From a small town, just like his. As she gets to know Deeds, she finds that he is polite and caring and starts to fall for him. Okay, so, my notes get a little crazy here because I forgot about something. There's a twist in the movie, okay? So, the questions are, do they end up in a relationship? Does she write her story? If she does, what does she say? Do the people that are after the company and the money that comes along with it take the company and the money from Deeds, or does Longfellow Deeds become the new leader and not just the owner of the company? Now, the thing about the twist in the movie is that there's a possibility, and they don't find this out till later, that Deeds may not be the true heir. Okay, so, if Longfellow Deeds is not the true heir, who is? And does that person start to run the company? Do they ever fully find out to where that person runs the company if Deeds is not the rare? Okay, so if you want to know, watch Mr. Deeds. And we'll do a time check. And let's see. All right, I left the whole book. I was on the page, <laughs> like, like part of the treadmill is going to be on the book. Okay, I've got to lift the whole book here. And I'm actually going to close it. I discovered yesterday I can close it. Okay, so let's see. I've never tried to close this backwards, especially with paper inside. All right, that's cool. So that actually, why did I think of that yesterday? Um, that actually exposes all the numbers. Oops. I actually closed it the way you normally close it and I slid it this way and I took the water bottle and I put it over here and the only thing about just 
closing the book backwards. Okay, so um, these pages make me nervous, but now uh, it looks like it's wedged pretty well. All right, so we're at 19 minutes, 38 seconds, 0.64 for distance, and 68.6 calories. Uh, again, at a speed two. Okay, like I said, speed three, this thing gets angry. Speed four, start jogging, you're gonna uh, get swung off the treadmill. <laughs> so, just in case you're wondering, you have to super fit. If it comes working, uh, you're in for a surprise. So, yeah, other things that it claims about it, if it works correctly, it does. And I'm loving how quiet the motor is, considering, like I said, I keep saying it was true, how much faster speed two is on this than it is on that one. So, yeah. But, um, so, the cup holder, I'm gonna try, the rubber cup holder, that I'm gonna put over here. I don't know where it is. Tracking information hasn't given any places. I think the coasters that I got to go inside because there's holes in the bottom. And my bottom is usually pretty dry, but you know, it might be where I just washed it and didn't dry it off good enough. I didn't want it dripping. I do realize it would drip onto the floor if I put the cup holder on the outside of the treadmill instead of the inside. That way also it doesn't interfere with my pulse reading. So, um, I don't know. The little coasters, if they are now necessary, would just be safe. Of course, I don't want any liquid spilling on this. Okay, we went through enough just to get it to work. So, I think if it fits, I'll put it inside there. And as you know, they have a glow in the dark one, but you guys know me. Um, I would not be out here at night. And I wouldn't have the lights off. I would do it just to show you guys it if I got the glow in the dark one, which I didn't, because I think it'll get dirty fast. But um, yeah, so I just went ahead and got black soda match. But it's cute, it has a little bird on it. So, um, I don't know. It's like a little owl or something. But we'll see. We'll see if the uh, straps are long enough to wrap around the handle. Or I should say, um, the arms of the treadmill. So we'll find out. It can't hold this weight. My other concern is that the straps might snap. And down goes my bottle. That's the reason, other reason why I want to hang it on the outside and not the inside. Not to say, it was just my luck that it wouldn't fall to the inside. But I'm already having plans for that. Like if I can reach the stop button or pull this thing right, knowing that it's gonna stop, I can brace myself. Because after it stops rotating, it still has to lower. So that'll give me time to at least stand still with nothing else. Okay, so a couple more sips. We'll do a pulse reading and time check and all that good stuff. Okay. So, um, let's see. Towels in the way? Maybe. We'll find out. Oh, that shocked me. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, we're gonna go with 75. That's what pop it twice. And since I've already walked, I've already worked out the stomach muscles and everything, that actually hurt to bend over and do that. The first time I did it, it was such a relief on my back. It gave, like I said, such a good stretch. I was telling you guys about that in video one. And um, that, this time, hurt, like my waistline. So, um, I don't see pulse readings being a normal thing for these walking talks. Like I said, we're kind of starting back over somewhat from square one, somewhat. Just some incline parts. So, 
Yeah. But, oh, time check. Oops. 24 minutes, 35 seconds. Distance, 0.81. Calories, 86.3. And I think I made it to, I can't remember if I made it to a little over a mile on the first walk. Like I said, um, I am walking, I was trying to think of how to put that, at a slower pace, being that's a lower number, but in comparison, like I said to that one, this is about even to the four pace, but on this one, it's like still reading its accurate numbers, you know, so I'm pretty sure what I'm trying to say, now I think about it, is that if I were to crank this up to three, I probably would have been in a mile already. But it's not um, it's not linked, obviously, to that treadmill to know the difference. But I know because I'm on it. So, like I said, just giving you guys as much accurate information as I can give you. Okay, um, learning process for me about treadmills in general. Um, like what's connected to what? The motor, the motor wires, um, the connector. The one that was having a problem wasn't even connected right to begin with. And I think to the point where like it was loose. Um, it might not have even stayed on there. It wasn't pinched correctly. It looks like um, the end of a foam cord that you would use for when you have like a landline foam that you plug into the wall. It plugs into another piece, but it has to be clamped right correctly. It can't just, it doesn't plug in so far as it being like an outlet type thing. So I should say connect. Okay, so it has to be clamped correctly, and that was the problem. So we weren't knowing what to expect. Um, so quick little update. The white bars to do on the cord, we still don't know what it is. And our solution was cable tape, and we forgot. Uh, forgot, I'm trying to say forgotten bought, <laughs> and I'm not sure how it came out um, on the recording. It may have sounded like I said forgot, but I could hear it, and it, that's not what I said. So uh, I said for box <laughs> with the B. But yes, we forgot to buy the cable tape at Walmart. So that's our solution. It is safer maybe to wrap it with something that's meant for electrical cords instead of trying to get it off even if we wear gloves. Um, seeing as how, we don't know what it is. Okay, so as I'm up here talking, I'm debating if I can make it another 40 minutes. And like I said, I would really, really like to take care of uh, the seventh and the eighth. But video three would only take care of one of them. So that's if I do it. Um, like I said, the whole purpose is if I make a two-year challenge, I calculate the days, how many days are in two years, if, it, if there's no leap year. And then I said, okay, either if I walk every day, it's 730 days, or I can walk 730 times. So for me, every 40 minutes is a day. So that's how I kind of came up with that. I didn't want to be behind. And it would be a lot easier if I had access to it all the time. But I'll take the 90%, maybe 95% of the time as close as possible as I can get. Um, we just get really busy. So we're 29 minutes. I have the crazy idea to crank this thing up to 2.2. However, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, I want to say my headache is gone. I don't know if I told you guys on video one, I had a headache as well, I get migraines. And um, I don't want to say it fully because 
it's like picking and choosing when it wants to come back. And it's not a full blown migraine. It's just like a slight headache. So I don't want to say that, and then bam, you know, here it is again. But I am happy to say, even though I'm starting to sniffle, I was thinking I took another allergy pill. Only one today. It's a 24 hour non drowsy. So just one. But it was supposed to have kicked in already. Um, they're not listed as facts, I think they just are, at least for me, the equate I love them. And so if they work the way they say, which usually for me they do, I don't need another one for 24 hours. So this is just, I think my body's just adjusting. So yeah, we'll do more water. I'm happy to say we are 30 minutes and 18 seconds. One mile even, 106 calories. And uh, yeah, the whole issue, like I said, with my hair, the day it's dyed, won't be an issue because it'll get washed. But I don't want to have like a super sweaty scalp. Yeah, so because if I wash it before it's dyed, it's not gonna dye as well. Um, somebody might come and say, that's not true. Um, your hair doesn't dye better dirty, but that's what I heard. So I'm sticking with that. Um, if nothing else, I would say there's nothing for it to kind of grab hold to, if that makes sense, besides your hair follicles kind of. I don't know. Maybe I'll look that up and see if it's true or if it stays online, if it's true. You don't believe everything is true online, right? But if it does say it's true, maybe it'll tell why. Am I right? Is it just that simple? So, how am I feeling? Um, I'm actually feeling okay. My breathing is so-so. Better than video one. My gosh, you guys, I did not think I could make it back up here. So, yeah, I think I'm done all right. I 32 minutes. Two was a fairly good speed for an incline this high. So, I think I'm okay. And if I do do a third video, oh my gosh, this could take well into tomorrow morning. I'm talking about past two or three or four a.m. for all three videos to upload because I like to upload them in order. So yeah, if I do video three, that means I can't start to upload until I finish recording it. So I'm glad I kind of kept the topic light today. But as you know, you add stuff like after you download. You don't have to put it all together all at once. You can just do thumbnail and a little description if you want. You actually don't even have to title it, but it'll process first, kind of, sort of, which it kind of does anyway. It just takes longer. And um, then after that, once you put a title and I'm thinking you have to put a description. The upload kind of speeds up just a little, and I mean just a little, you guys. It's like turtle crawl slow. For the turtles, they actually crawl slow. Um, yes. Okay. You know, I'm thinking, if I switch hands with that, when it's full, or almost full, I try not to fill it up to the top. That thing could be like a little weight. So hopefully I'll make my right arm kind of buff, my left arm kind of small. Uh, I might switch. Plus, the longer I'm walking, the heavier that bottle gets. Because the more sips I can take, right? So um, yes, I was thinking it is serving as like a little weight. I can fill it in my arm.
So we're not too far away. We are at 34 minutes, 34 seconds, 1.15 for distance, 122 for calories, and I am sweating up a storm. I'm trying to think. Oh my gosh. I don't remember if I switched to clothes. I know they're finished washing. I don't know if they're finished drying because I have to, this has to go straight into the washer. So, uh oh. We'll see. And I can get that going. I might as well just hold this thing. And I think, I think I heard somewhere that you're not supposed to pack your sweat. I know it sounds odd, but I remember hearing something like that. I don't know if it's true. Hmm. Almost there. I'm happy. And I might have one more in me, maybe. Plus, I have one more box, I think, of that broccoli with the ginger and the rice. Oh, it's good. With the beef. But then after that, I seriously need to run to the store and get more. Those are like my go-tos. Warm them up for four minutes. Open up the plastic. Um, you stir it, or stir it, I guess. And then you cover it back up and then you put it back in for like a minute and a half. Just be careful. Um, super, super hot. Maybe if you pull it out, have something like on top of your hand or something, because try to hold it from the edges. The bowl is not, um, it's not like sturdy, sturdy. The weight and the fact that the vegetables and rice got steamed kind of makes it way down. And the plastic's still on, so it gets hot like fast. So they're from Marie Calendars if you like them. You can get them from Walmart. I can't remember the price, but they're good. You can taste the ginger if you like ginger. You can taste it a lot. And those are like, like I said, my go-to meals. Um, Cause I don't like to cook. I'll just be honest. I hate cooking. <laughs> so yes. And then of course, since I mean, come on, it's already after noon, like literally. I need to get something in me fast. Something that will be ready by the time I get cleaned up. So I'm hoping there was one more box in here. Cause I already ate the rest of my sandwich um, yesterday. I was supposed to have the other half for today and I ate half of it yesterday. And then half, I think the day before or earlier that day. So, bye bye rotisserie chicken sandwich. Yeah, it was good. And I think I like it better without the jalapenos. I bit into one, you guys, the other day because I had two sandwiches the same day um, and two days in a row. That mess was hot. Oh my gosh, all the juices from that bite like went to my mouth, and my my mouth and my tongue, you guys, was like instantly on fire. I was like. Oh my gosh. And like I told the lady at Subway, I was like, I thought, damage is done, just chew. She was laughing, I was like, yeah. Um, I know it's a jalapeno, so obviously duh, it's gonna be hot, right? But I was not expecting that amount of heat that fast. Um, I think they have like, what, scorcher levels, or whatever you call them, that one level I can think of it, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, that was, a little bit more spice than what I had had in a while. So, yeah, it was, it was everywhere. The roof of my mouth, my tongue, underneath my tongue. I think even the inside walls of my jaws. Um, I felt like I had set a little teeny fire in my mouth. And I was like, oh my goodness. And the first thing you think is what? water, some of you might think milk, but where you want to go with the lactose thing, right? So, 
Um, yeah, that wouldn't have worked for me. Then I would have had a whole other issue. I think I was telling you guys, lactose is the, is the sugar in milk. But some people are actually also allergic to the milk itself. And um, I think I'm getting to that point. I'm gauging it off of the fact that I may eat less and less cheese unless there's something in cheese that I'm allergic to that I don't know about, like a new ingredient. But we are at 40 minutes, 1.33 for distance, 140 calories. I'm gonna push stop, let it do its thing. Whoop, my muscles, well hold on. It wasn't enough speed for me to take that last step. All right, so it's declining. And I don't know you guys, um, I'm thinking if I do video three, what's my topic? I know we were movies, Adam Sandler has a lot of them, but it would take me like another 20 or 30 minutes to write down something. I was gonna do it in advance, but I wasn't sure if I had enough energy to even do a triple day. So um, I think, I'm not breathing as hard as it sounds. I think it's just a matter of pausing and pacing. My, uh, pacing, pacing, yes, <laughs> pacing myself because I talk so fast. So um, it would be like the Energizer Bunny if I could talk just as much as I can like right now. So um, yes, I'm actually okay with my breathing. My chest is not hurting. My legs are okay. My left foot remember was killing me in the last video and it stopped. So maybe it was a sign that I needed to walk more. Um, so this might be that day, but I need a movie, right? So I have to pick one. Um, a couple that come to mind. I know there's better ones with him in it, but little Mickey was funny. And uh, the quality of the fact that he's just funny to me, personally, I say Adam Sandler is hilarious. So I know I keep saying that. I don't know what other word to use because he's super funny. So I think, um, I don't know. Um, there was one, was that Cameron Diaz? No, no, no. Or was that Reese Witherspoon? I think Cameron Diaz. One of those. Or, or, or was it Drew Barry more? I can't remember who was in that movie with him. The one I think, um, oh, you know what? Jennifer Aniston, I think was in that movie with him. The one where they, I think, went to Africa on the trip, right? And they both had kids. So I gotta see, I gotta see which movie I want to do. Um, like I said, but I'm gonna need about 20 or 30 minutes. And I feel, I'm like, oh no. I kind of feel bad because my camera, my phone is positioned in the perfect spot. And if I take it off to go charge it, I'm afraid that it won't have whatever quality it has now because I'm noticing that there's more light over here for some reason. And so um, even though I'm filming like right around the same time of the day, so yeah, but I go I pick maybe a movie. I think, I think I'm actually okay. Fill this back up because it is almost empty now. And um, go ahead and knock out this triple day. Just what day is it gonna be for? Um, like I said, you guys, let's see. I'm thinking one day is a haircut day, one day is a hair dye day, but hair dye day, hair gets washed possibly multiple times if we have bleach added in, right? So I think that's what I'll do. And ooh, it's getting windy outside. I'm gonna check the weather too, see if we're expecting a storm. And I do, I'm procrastinating, I'm putting it off, but I just remembered that trash day got pushed today. So I need to go out there and get that trash can in because trash day was supposed to be yesterday. So now that I hear that wind, I'm hoping that trash can didn't get blown over. Um, as a matter of fact, since I'm not walking more, I just remember it's safe for me to look out here. No, it's good, but it looks like the wind's picking up. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna go get the trash can, go see if I can find another uh, movie for Adam Sandler. And uh, then I think I'm gonna go ahead and just knock out and do video three. So I think today will be a triple day. So I'll be back, I won't say right back, but give me about 20, 30 minutes and I'll see you guys, okay? Bye.